How's it? Today is Tuesday, October 8th, and I just need to focus. Today was a back squat day with some overhead press. Yes, overhead press. I know I did a little bit last week, and I wanted to do a little bit more this week, and that is what I did. Today was good and bad. It was good in what you might be expecting. My shoulder feels very good. It doesn't feel like I am in pain at all. It feels like it doesn't have the endurance that it used to, and it doesn't have the strength that it used to, but it doesn't hurt to press. It doesn't hurt to hold the bar on my back anymore. It It's like such a far cry away from where it was, you know, two weeks ago. And I am very, very happy. And I'm going to hold on to that outlook uh, for much longer than that, uh, much longer than today. I hope on Saturday I'll be able to bench. We'll see. Like flat uh, barbell bench press. As far as the, the, the bad today, I tweaked my back when I was squatting. So totally different from the shoulder. So it's just like, if it's not one thing, it's another. And if it's not that thing, then it's somewhere else on the entire planet of me. And I am, I don't feel very great about it. I know that it is likely due to my omission of the warm up from yesterday. Um, Yesterday I came in very late. I, I planned very poorly. And I did not have enough time to do my warm-up before doing my snatches at all. So I literally went in with my overhead work. Here's my first set at 151, or my top set, sorry, at 151, which is three kilos up from last week. But the um, warm-up from yesterday, I, I again, I did not do it at all because I didn't have enough time. And like that's another thing that I need to be focusing more on. But I ended up doing 90 for... Um, a, a set of three for the snatches and that was really really good and I'm super happy with that my shoulder feels fine my upper back feels great I mean I feel a little bit fatigued because I'm actually changing my my pull-ups to be a little bit more uh, reps in one set so that I can build a little bit more endurance in my upper back but I think with the omission of the warm-up yesterday my my hips don't feel like they are like primed well and i i've i very much feel it um today so this is the last set of my back squats and it doesn't didn't really hurt until right around the fourth rep of this set and like as i'm walking forward for the re-rack so that was the fourth rep this is the fifth rep right here as i walk forward for the re-rack on this like my lower back just starts to like scream at me and it's not a pain that I haven't felt before. Like, if you look back at the videos from last year, actually, when I was trying to squat in my flats, this is the same exact pain. Um, it's not to say that it's it's a good thing that I've had this pain before. Uh, it means that something went back to the way it was, and that's not good. So that's something I need to be a little bit more um, aware of moving forward. I do know from last year that when I am not primed with like my hip positioning, so my hip activation, like my, um, my, uh, what is it? I don't, I don't even remember what the word is right now, but my, when my abductors are, are not firing the way that they normally would. So like my glute medius and my glute max, if, if they're not firing the way that they normally would, then my, my lower back kind of takes the brunt of it because my knees drop into um, extreme valgus and that is not really something that I have done in the last like I'm thinking about it right now this is the first time I'm thinking about it I I really I haven't really done that sort of thing in the last I don't know three four months so that's like a really really great sign but I am still reverting back to the way that it used to be and that's not good so I'm going to make sure that in the future when I'm, I'm moving um, around to make sure that I, I'm a little bit more aware of how my hips are activated in space. And I think that's going to play a huge uh, role in, in returning back to where I need to be because um, I, I have been doing my McGill Big 3s. I, need, I do need to do probably a little bit more variation on them just because 
when I have pain like this, it also means that my core isn't as uh, conditioned or stable in, in a lot of positions because it doesn't hurt until my body gets tired. And then that is when things start to hurt. And so that is a sign that um, I am not conditioned for endurance in those positions specifically. Um, I, I'm not super worried about it. I do know that I, I, when I went to work today, I asked if I could leave early because I, I knew it was going to be hurting and, and ended up hurting around like eight ish. So I ended up leaving early, like putting my shoes on, uh, for work and taking them off was a little bit challenging, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'm again, I'm not the most worried about, about things. I think that I will be able to manage it because I have managed it in the past and I, I'm in a lot better headspace than I was back then. So, yeah, um, that's it for today. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Shoots.